Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's workout is going to be a Pilates routine that's going to be really good for people that do sports and, and athletes. So you're an athlete if you do a sport, so if you cycle, if you run, if you do crossfit, if you dance and basically any other activities, surfing, snowboarding, skiing, Pilates is going to be good for you. Um, I'm sure you know that a lot of top athletes really swear by Pilates as a way of injury prevention, a way of really improving their performance. Um, it's great for mobility, flexibility, a strong core, efficiency of movement, um, but it's going to really keep you healthy for a long time. So I think the main thing is longevity. So you want to be doing these activities way into your, your older life, right? So that's what we're going to be doing it for. So I hope that you enjoy it. This is a great one for you if you do other activities, but you know, it's good for everyone. Oh, this is just good. So let's get started. We're going to start off in a wide position. So heels together, toes apart, and we're going to just make our way down into a little squat. So keep your spine long and just sort of sit down and let your hands just rest on your legs for a moment. So pushing back into your heels, ease into the hips, and then just stretch up again. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger, but we're just gonna start here. And coming up, good. And then if you can, you're gonna make your way down sort of into a little bit of a squat. Those hips might be like, hello. The heels might lift, that's fine. And you might just wanna do a little wiggle left to right. And then just stand up again. Okay, feeling those hips. Let's go down one more time. And we're gonna wake up the hamstring. So hold the hips, you're gonna to start to stretch the legs. Sorry, don't hold the hips, hold the ankles. So I don't want you to go straight into a sort of deep hamstring stretch. So you might wanna keep the knees bent, but I want you to try and keep the back nice and straight. And then just make your way back down, knees over the toes. So that's what we definitely wanna make sure is happening, that alignment of the knees going over the toes, not knocking the knees in. And then just start to stretch the spine, long spine, long neck, feeling into those hamstrings. Everything might be quite stiff and tight, depending on what sport that you do, what activity you do, whether it's weightlifting or anything like that, you know, everything can definitely Stiffen up, so just ease into this. We're gonna be working through lots of ranges of movement. Good. And then just stretch, feel. Maybe things are starting to open up a little bit. Then you can go a little bit deeper. And then this one, just come down and we're gonna come onto our mat. So you can walk out onto your mat, just come onto all fours, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders and just start to extend and round the back. So a little bit of mobility for the spine. Using that breath and just moving through the spine, forwards and back. Notice where there's any tight, tight areas. So maybe you're going straight into flexion through the shoulders. Just try and kind of even up that curve and lengthen the head forwards. And we're gonna come into an exercise called thread the needle. So it's a rotation for your mid thoracic spine. So a really good one if you're sort of rotating in your activity. Um, so golfers, a good one for you, but everyone in general. So right arm is gonna look up towards the ceiling. We're gonna reach open through that chest, try and keep the hips nice and still. And as you breathe out, thread the arm through, right ear comes to the mat. Good, and we're gonna stay on that side. We've got six, so we're gonna inhale, reach, keep the pelvis still, exhale, rotate. Good, four more, inhale, try not to go through the whole body, just that mid thoracic. You might find that it feels a little bit tight and thread. Keep the neck long, keep reaching forwards. Sit bones back. Three. Breathe out to thread the arm. Two. Keep that support through the center, through your core. Last one. 
try and push the mat away, reach to the ceiling and thread the arm through. So we're not sort of resting down, we're keeping it active and then bring that hand back underneath the shoulder, other side. So left arm reaches up, open to that side. And then elbow bends, try and keep going forwards with the crown of the head as you thread through, reaching that arm along. And again, inhale to look open, hips stay nice and level. Exhale, ear comes to the mat as you thread it through. Good, last four, gather those ribs, inhale, reach. Exhale, rotate through that thoracic spine. One rib reaches round, the other side reaches under. Three. And thread. Two more. Getting into our upper body can get really stiff. It's a really lovely one here, last one. And then I promise we're gonna get into some core work. Believe me, you're gonna feel it. <laughs> Good, so bring that hand down under the shoulders. Let's come into a front support or a plank position. You probably know it. We should really feel that arm into the scapula shoulder back connection. Step one leg back, press through that heel. Step the other leg back, we're into our front support, our plank position. You're going to make sure your hips are low enough. You're pushing back through the heels, crown of the head forwards. I'm just gonna take a slow sort of mountain climber movement. Hip is gonna flex, you're gonna bring the knee in. You're strong through that upper body. We don't wanna see sinking into the shoulders. We wanna see that strong connection into the back. Good, navel to spine, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathing in, nice support. We've got four, three, crown of the head reaches forward, don't stretch that head down. Two, hips stay nice and level, last one, bring those knees down. Just take a sit back onto your heels. So feeling into the hip flexors to separate the knees a little bit. So again, that little bit of external rotation. And let's just walk down with the hands. So stretching um, into the shoulders, the chest. Chest comes down, elbows down. See if you can sit back on those heels. Again, this might be a bit tight in those hips. You can always sit on a cushion or a block and just reach down. Maybe just wiggle gently, ease left to right. Good, and then just come back to that all fours position. And we're going to take our tabletop or our bird dog, really good exercise. The back of the body, the front of the body are working to find your balance. So good alignment, right leg is gonna reach away, left arm is gonna reach forwards. And then we're gonna take the arm and leg out to the side in opposite directions and then back in. So kind of coming into like a little diagonal. So we're gonna take right leg to the right, left arm to the left, but you're keeping your box. So shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, stays nice and level, navel to spine, bring it in and then down. Other side, so it's just the limbs moving, nothing else. Push the mat away, keep pushing up to the ceiling, open, Close, and you can take it further if you feel like you can without the square moving. Now checking in, gather those ribs. Open, close, and bring it in. Well done, other side. Reach, long neck, open, close, Bring it in, really stabilizing. Let's do one more on each side. Push that mat away. Try not to hold the breath. Breath is really important. Good. And then just bring it down. I'm gonna to continue to work through the hips. So let's just come onto one side. So lay flat or support your head and just Checking in again that you've got hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, and you're not collapsing on the underneath side. So the alignment is so key that we get good form. It's gonna really help keep everything nice and healthy. So tailbone lengthens away. And you're also gonna get the most out of the exercises if you really focus on that form and that technique. So we're going to lift the top leg up 
above the hip. And we're gonna draw circles. You can even put your hands on that knee and just start to draw a circle with that leg. Really good one to keep healthy hips and knees as we work into the glutes. In this position, you're keeping that lift on the underneath side of the waist and then reverse around. We're definitely gonna do some stretching as well just to kind of really get into the tightness of the body. Breathe, four, three, keep that lift, two, and one, and rest that leg down, good, and just push yourself up, and we'll just do eight on the other side in each direction, so either spin around to the other side, or come in here, just lining everything up, knees forwards, Check in with that underneath side, lift the leg just off, not too high, stabilize. So put your hand on that hip, nothing else moves, just that knee, hand on hip or hand on knee. It's kind of wherever you feel like you can kind of really help get the circle, keep the stability, find that control. Keeping calm, let's reverse. So just check in with the upper body as well, that we're not tense. Breathe. Last two. And last one. Full circle, good. Rest the leg down, just come onto your front from here. We're gonna work a little bit of swimming. So, really strengthening for the back of the body, the posterior chain all the way through the back. We're gonna be flipping from swimming to 100 to work the core, swimming to 100. We're gonna do 10 counts of each. So lay, reach your arms forwards, legs about the width of the mat, a little bit wider than the hips. Float the head, neck and shoulders off. This is gonna work the back of your body. We're gonna swim 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna come onto the front. Flipping around. We're gonna reach the legs up, nod the chin to the chest, extend the legs away. Come into 10 pumps with the arms. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the legs in, we're coming back to that swim in. Work in the back of the body. Legs reach off, check in with that center that we just worked, arms reach. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, come back around onto the front. Doing really good. Working through the core, lift those legs to tabletop position. Support with the back and the front, nod the chin, stretch those legs away. Check your in the middle, start to pump those arms. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come in one more time, guys. Let's come on to that front again. Flipping around, working your back. Find that length, lengthen your legs away. Arms lift, we've got 10, nine, long neck, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We flip around and we've got the 100. Let's go for 20 this time. So lift those legs, find that neutral, nod that chin, reach those legs away. We're pumping 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, five, four, three, two, one. And hug the knees in. Well done guys, just gently turn the head left to right. Release the shoulders down. Let's just take a little spine curl to open through the hips and the back of the legs. So press the low back into the mat, get that lovely articulation, squeeze that bottom, send the knees forwards, coming into that bridge at the top. Tuck those ribs in, reach those arms back, reach to the back of the room, gather those ribs and start to roll down. If that feels good, or just keep them hovering off. Roll through the center of that spine. We're gonna nod the chin towards the chest. We're gonna lift those legs up, press in, and we're gonna find a teaser to work that core. So 
holding your ankles. We're going to be working to stretch the hips, the hamstrings, lift tall, crown of the head reaches up, maybe stretch one leg and bring it down. Stretch the other leg. So you might be feeling that you can't hold your ankles. That's fine. Hold the back of the thighs. Maybe try and stretch there. Just wherever you can. And maybe you're just stretching a little bit. Not fully. This is working your core. You want to feel that navel towards your spine. You're up and over your legs. Shoulders are down. You're just off those sit bones. And maybe take the ankles again if you want to try. Maybe stretch one leg, stretch the other leg. Okay, this is that teaser position. Shoulders away from the ears, navel in, lift and hold. Create that shape. This is working your core, working those hip flexors really strong. Lift those arms up to the feet for five, four, three, two, and one, give yourself a hug in. Good, place the feet down. We're gonna take a little stretch into the straddles. It's kind of like a slow soar. So I want you to take your legs to about the width of the mat or a bit wider, just wherever you can and you feel like you can create a nice upright spine. You might wanna sit on a block here or a cushion, just something to give your hips a little extra space. The arms are going to reach up, so we're working our back extensors. We're going to rotate to the right leg, push through the legs and just nod your chin and reach over that leg. Rest the arms down on that leg. Rotation and flexion, stretching through the back of the body. And then rebuild that spine. Arms are going to come up, rotate to the other side, nod the chin, flex down over that leg. Try and keep the opposite sit bone down on the mat. Oh, that feels nice. Really stack. Let's take one through the center just to even up. Feeling that little bit of a groin in a thigh stretch. Well done, guys. And then just restack. And bringing the legs together. Good, we're gonna come back into that plank position and then we're gonna take a few stretches. We just wanna do a bit of a side plank. I just wanna feel that we're really targeting everything. So we're gonna come into a nice strong side plank and then we're gonna just take a hip and hamstring stretch to finish you off. So coming onto your all fours, come back into that front support position, connect to the shoulders, turn the feet to the right, lift in your right arm and finding that side plank. Now we're gonna make a rainbow shape. So we're gonna lift the hips, curve the spine, and then back into the side plank. Just three on each side. Lift the hips and back with control. Stabilize the shoulders, lift. We're getting that stretch through that side and bring it back. Good, other side, turn your feet to the other way. Lift that arm up and we've got three, two, Inhale, exhale, last one. Get as much side bend through that body as you can and bring it back to that plank. Bring those knees down, walk those hands back to the knees and we're just gonna step the right leg out in front. Step that right leg forwards, tuck the hips forwards and both hips facing forwards. Don't let yourself spin to the left. Sorry, I think I said the same thing about three times then. So both hips facing forwards. So imagine you've got headlights on your hips and then just tuck that pelvis, come into a stretch. You don't want that knee to be going over the toes, over the ankles. You want to have a big enough stretch that it's kind of like a vertical line. Tucking under. And then let's bring the hands down. Now this is kind of like a exercise called front splits on the reformer. We're gonna come into a lunge and we're just gonna stretch the front leg. So both hips facing down and then bend into those hips. Just, oh, that feels nice on that back hip. Two more. Lengthen that spine. Don't have a rounded back. Just try and stretch that spine as much as you can. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Bring it back, bring the knee down and let's change sides. 
So first of all, just that nice little tuck of the hips, bring yourself up, find that balance. And then just tuck the pelvis under. You can push through that front thigh if that feels nice, kind of at a little bit of opposition. Ooh, find your balance, Lottie. And then bring the hands down, tuck the back toes under, come into that runner's lunge, long line. And then start to stretch the front leg out. Don't open that back hip. Try and keep them both facing down and then bend the knee over the ankle. Oh, that feels so good in that back hip. Last two. Breathe, last one. Oh, feels nice, good. And then just step it back into that front support position. Lift those hips up into a down stretch again. And then just start to walk the hands and the feet together. I said hands, but I walked with my feet. Just come in over those legs. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And then very slowly restack your spine. So your tailbone drops under. And restack all the way. And then let's just find a little balance on one leg. So transfer the weight, lift the right heel and just find that balance, that stillness. The supporting leg is working, those glutes that we worked. Lovely posture. Keep the eyes focused and balance on the other leg. Push down, ground in. Float the other leg up as high as you can. And then release that foot down. Well done. Okay guys, hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling strong, feeling mobile, feeling a little bit more flexible. And try out one of my other routines. They're all gonna help you with all your activities. And I'll see you again in another routine soon. Bye.